fishing, just fishing, fishing, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks. All right, there's Captain Rick Captain untying Rick. us. There's Sweeney. Hold on a minute. So we're leaving all those rods? Yeah. We're, we're leaving leave rods here. If they get stolen, it's on Rick. We're leaving them here, here? We're in Summerland Key, yeah. headed out to the Gulf. Are you My serious? last trip in yeah. Florida. You could leave them here? Yeah. We'll see how we do as so these two the house, argue about... Yeah, I'd rather put them on the boat. Whether the rods will be okay. stolen. No, I don't want to get you. They're going to get in our way, but that's okay. Beautiful day, no wind in the forecast, and uh, we'll see how we do. Rick, any uh, any words of wisdom for the uh, Jigging Jerks yeah. audience? You're going to uh, catch them today. Okay. We'll put you on the fish because I always put you on the fish, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, everyone has missed your bravado. And now uh, we should just leave Sweeney. Let's take off. Now you finished getting speeding tickets now coming down yes, here, right? Yes, yes. We had an interesting ride down, Sweeney and I. Uh, word to the wise: don't uh, pass two cars when one of them is a sheriff on, the, oh. on Highway One in the Keys. Not a good idea. All right. Let's see how we do today. All right, here we go, guys. And it feels like an August day in New York, in eastern Long Island. Uh, we could almost be heading for Block Island in Rhode Island right now. We got Captain Rick at the helm there. We got John Sweeney next to me. Just an absolutely pitch-perfect, gorgeous day in Summerland Key, about 20 miles, 25 miles northeast of Key West. Rick rents a house here every year. He trailers the Blue Jay down here. The, those of you that don't know, the Blue Jay is a Metal Shark 32, a custom aluminum boat made in Louisiana. Just a fantastic boat. And we were hitting a reef and trying for anything that, that really bit. And we did this trip last year. And we are using the Minn Kota to Rova to spot lock. Here's an overhead shot of the boat. And again, what always amazes me when I'm fishing down here on these relatively productive spots is just the sheer and utter lack of other boats out there fishing. We're going to pan around in a second. You'll see what I'm talking about. We, again, literally did not see another boat other than shrimp boats that were dragging their nets for shrimp anywhere near us. Um, just amazing, you guys in Florida that have this fishery and it's my experience on the West Coast at least. Can't speak for the East Coast, but on the West Coast just relatively undisturbed. And I, I made a faux pas in my last video when we were fishing out of uh, Fort Myers Beach and I mentioned the lack of boats. And yes, I completely forgot about Hurricane Ian and how many people lost their boats, you know, there. I, no, no such issue in the Keys, thankfully. Um, and just a, a really fun fishing trip with two good friends. And we're going to start it off. We have some chum going in the background. We literally just got to the spot Rick's going to drop down and he's going to catch a nice yellowtail snapper. Rick's on. Need the net? <laughs> don't have net. I know. What do you got? Oh, nice yellowtail, Rick. Good one. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad. And Rick had a chump slick out and he was actually trying for yellowtail. Crazily enough, that was first drop for Rick. That was gonna be the only yellowtail we caught that day. The barracuda were right by the boat and it was very difficult to get any yellowtail into the boat after that. Yeah, that's the trick. Here we go. Come on. Oh, you got him. Hey, get the gap. Oh, it's a cuda. It? It's Damn a it. Cuda? It's a cuda. Yeah. What do we do now? I don't know. You can bring him in. But, yo, know, you can go. He's, getting, he's around my line here. Go. Yeah, just uh, break him off. Oh, Which way on. is he? Yeah. 
he swam in and around. Nice one. Hold it, hold it. Don't hold. Oh. You can break them. Oh, off. you want to break them off? Yeah. yeah. What do you got? Well, Rick, I got your friggin' line here. You sh okay, you broke off. You broke off. What'd you, get? What'd you have on? What'd you have on? There's a lot of moaning and groaning there. Sweeney, what did you have on? Uh, it, it was probably a good sized group. No, what were you using as bait? All right. And that's the chaos often associated with this type of fishing. Rick hooked into that cuda. We saw that big brown shadow under the boat. At first we thought it was a cobia. Now a cuda and Sweeney hooked up something really big on the other side. Eventually broke them off. Yeah, Florida Keys fishing for you. No, no. There you go. <laughs> yeah, this is big. That's what I was just looking for. Almost. Yeah. I, 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 I'm gonna, I, was I gotta gonna... tighten my drag too. Well, I didn't have the drag set. The problem is though, that's gotta go on the bench. You know what? Set up the bench. The bench model. No, I could bring it up with this. I would have had that if I had the. Well, if I had the. Uh... If you uh, tied a knot. No, the knot was good. I I put a lot of pressure on it with my thumb because I didn't have the drag set. Oh, it took me two hours and three minutes to get to where I met you. It took me an hour and 18 to get to where I met you. You're on, dude. You talking to me? You know you have a fish on. Nice. You need a hand? Rick, keep an eye on this. Whoa! Oh shit! Oh, oh, shit. Nice, nice, nice snapper! Get it in! Get nice, it in! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Break! Nice mangrove! Nice, Woo! Oh, it's a mutton? No, that's no, a mangrove. I thought it was a mangrove. Oh, yeah. It's a mangrove. Oh yeah! Nice. Beautiful! You see that poodle looking? Yep, yep. Oh, look at this boy! Oh, that's a beautiful. Oh, that's that's uh that's grouper candy. Bring him in too. It's a good fish. He's, he's uh. Oh, that's more. Yeah, that's a grunt. That's beautiful. Yeah, put him right in the live well, Rick. I'll put him on. The... Hey, Rick. In case you didn't know, put it in the live well, okay, Rick? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, put him on the bent butt. Oh, I'm coming on your side. Oh, stop it. Ah, that is not a snapper. <laughs> Ah, gone. Gone. I'm coming over. Yeah. Hey, stop it. It's not the side, my friend. Yeah, it's not seven I eight. I have wire leader too. What? I have wire leader. Oh no, I don't want wire. Five is the line for the five is right there. Yeah, so it's a five pounder. Yeah, there's the six. Five, yeah. a little over five. Yeah. And we're a couple of hours into the trip here. We have a couple snapper and some break offs to show for our efforts so far, and then you're gonna hear me say the magic words. I don't think there is a more fun fish to target and try to catch in Florida than cobia. My opinion only, I've caught them a few times now. It, it's not that easy to even find them near the boat, and man, do they fight. They are like a bluefish on steroids. You lost an eye and everything. Oh, I lost my fish since I went down. What, uh, what test do you have on? What happened? What what size line do you have on? Yeah, they're not hitting the eighty. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it off and I'm gonna put forty or something on. My friend Jason would tell you that leader, believe it or not. You know what? Never mind. He sometimes will tell me that's too long. Should I go with a smaller hook? It depends what you know. What you're gonna catch? What, hey, what's behind the boat? Is that a cobia? That's a cobia. Cobia. Yeah, cobia. Right. Cobia. Where's the squid? <laughs> cobia. No, there's a big one right by me. Okay. Look at this one. Bull. Oh, yep. Yep. I don't think it's big enough. I don't think that's big enough. Nice to see. I don't think they were big enough out. Where'd he go? There, on the other side, maybe. They went under or, or 
<laughs> They're going for my bait. They're going for my bait. He's on my bait. He's hitting it. Is he? Oh, there you go. He's on. Oh, good job. He did one on his uh, hook. And it's a big one. Is it? Yeah. All right, let's get the cap. Watch that rod. Well, Rick, this rod. You, you get over him? Yeah, I got over okay. it. That's a good one, no? That's a good one. That might be a key. Oh, 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 shit. Whoa, that's definitely key. Yeah. Oh, Rick, you got, ah. Uh, what? Yeah, the, the, the thing was in, uh, Sweeney, come get this pole up. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. What am I getting up? The bent the bent, bud. The bent butt? Yeah. Is it hooked in it or? That's a big one. I know it's a big one. Uh, we, yeah, go around me. Oh, the other guy took my line. I got two of them on now. No, you got one. There you go, Rick. Yep, that's Good keeper. job. That's definitely a keeper. Hey, I'm putting this back on. All right, watch your feet. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Let him go, let him go. I know, I know. I slack. Good job, Rick, with the gaff. Good job. Wow. Two per boat. I see those spikes that come up on the back. Yeah. Dude, that's a big one. <laughs> That's over 40. It's 30, uh, 36 inches. Yeah, two per boat. Yes. And to give you an idea of how hard they fight, you see the, the absolute pandemonium once you get them in the boat. I had that big avid locked down after I lost that grouper. 65 pound test, 80 pound leader, and he was still screaming drag off the reel. Uh, you got to be very careful when you get them in the boat. You see they are just insane uh, they don't calm down it's very very tough to tire these fish out and they're deceptively heavy they're all meat it's all muscle and you know when you lift them you think oh not that long a fish it's not going to be that heavy no it's it's heavy and that is just pure muscle pulling on your line one of the one of the best sport fish to target the hookers All right, he's de-hooked, but he's got the braid wrapped in his tail now. He had the braid wrapped in his tail. Ooh. You do? I'm coming. It's a little guy though, right? Little guy, little guy. Oh, Watch your head. Heads up. He just missed my head. Heads down. Targeting a little Dude, bit. look at the size of this. Look at the mess he made. Yeah, yeah. That shit came I, the yeah, I saw it go flying up. Good thing it landed on the top. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Camera's on this time. That's a little guy. It is, and it's not as big. Yeah, but that's all right. I think it is. Oh. Oh, right. Another one. Oh, another mangrove. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Thanks. Yeah, those ones got to be 12 inches. Watch their teeth. <laughs> Watch their teeth. No, remember what happened to you last time? <laughs> no. Hey, did you get the last fish? Ooh. Ooh. That's, Ooh. A, good one. that's yeah. a good one. Yeah, yeah, it's five, six pounds. Yeah, he just lightened up a lot. Put him up fast. Yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, lightened up too much. Too bad. Oh. Grouper. Oh, grouper. Yeah. What's that? A little black, huh? No. He's a gag. Yeah, it looks like a gag. Yeah. They're out of season. Yes, of course. Uh, January 1. Yes, I believe so. Yeah, nice. And it's too small anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they got to be 24? Uh, I yeah. believe. Yeah, 24. You believe. Good one? Yeah, I think so. Sweeney's on something good. Yeah, Sweeney's no, the... I mean, it's a good snap. Four or five pounds. Sweeney's the only one catching uh, fish. Oh, shit. It's the tax, man. Quick, quick, quick. I'm good, I'm good, I'm up. Another mangrove? Nice. Oh, nice mangrove. Nice. 
we're allowed like 10 of these, right? 10 each. Yeah, all right, so no worries. And we're going to end the video with one more fish that debatably fights just as hard, if not harder, than the cobia, and that's the amberjack. All thanks to Captain Rick for putting us on the fish. Can't wait to fish the blue jay again this summer when we're all up back north. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Come on. Get it out of rocks. Out of it's rocks. out of the rocks. Of rocks. It's not a uh, Sweeney. This is not a. Uh... Okay. It's a grouper. Yeah. It's definitely a grouper. Oh man. Peeling line. I got him. You got it up there. Yeah. But now I have the small hook and the small leader. Oh boy. He's running. Definitely not a. Unless it's a huge snapper. It could be. It could be. Could you, uh, can you get the gap there, John? Hey, you're gonna swing it or no? Uh, let's oh, see what it is first. Yeah, it's along the side over here. Yeah, all right. Right there. Yeah. Okay. I just want to see it. It's by the friggin' chum now. Oh, shit. I want to see it before you break it off. Probably an eight, man. It's big. AJ. Big AJ. Yep. Off the bottom, huh? Yeah. Frig. You want me to gaff him to get him in? No. Uh, lip gaff him. You can lip him. Oh, I just had a snapper hit. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. What the hell are you doing, Rick? Trying to get lip. You know what else you can do if he's calm? Oh, you got him? You can get him under the gills, too. All right, hold on. Let me try that, Rick. All right, you got him in the mouth. Not a big one. <laughs> Thank you, Rick. Die, you bastard. Big snapper hit, and then I just lost everything. And you don't eat these guys, right? No, they're full of worms. 